after all the discussions online about ponds and building new ones and filtering systems, I thought maybe this was the easiest way to explain uh, how my filtering system works. We we'll start here with the waterfall to follow the flow of water through the pond in this part of the filter system. After the water comes into the pond from the waterfall, it flows across the surface and into that opening. That's my homemade skimmer opening. Under these rocks is a trench that leads to that pit, which I still as yet have to make a cover for. This is the end of the trench, and there are two metallomats. Let's slide out to be rinsed off. Those act as a pre-filter for the pump, which is down in that pit. There's also a set of air stones down there that adds air to the water as it's pumped out of here. That's a 3,200 gallon an hour pump. From that pit, the pump pumps the water through an inch and a half pipe that's buried underground carried all the way around the pond and here's the pipe from the pump pit coming out of the ground into the top of my stream and here you can see the water bubbling up at the top of the stream and the bottom of the stream I put more metallomats and that's where all this water celery grows acts as a very effective filter and that's the top of the waterfall and there's the water going over the falls into the pond adding more oxygen as it does so. So it flows from here again over to the other side where it's picked up by the opening on the other side of the island and begins its journey again. And that's the that's the filtering system that filters water off the surface of the pond. The second filter system starts with two grates that sit on the surface of the bottom of the pond you see down there that are T-connected into a flexible hose that hose goes up a slot in the side of the pond and exits below the surface of the water from there, it empties into that pit over there, another pump pit. Well, this one's made to look like an artificial stump. This is that artificial stump now from the other side of the pond. And I'll get down here and show you what's inside. Use these little frogs to lid. And that comes off. And inside are the pipes and the pump for moving the water out of this pit. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see some of the plumbing work? Anyway, the pump is down there 
water moves by gravity into this thing because the entrance to this stump stump pit is lower than the surface of the pond water and then there's a 540 gallon an hour pump inside that pit and show you the relationship of this again we're back and we look at the pond and right there in the middle is where that those bottom drains are all right from there there's a inch and a half pipe that comes out of that pump that, uh, pit that artificial stump runs through this rocky area here and that empties into and yeah, let me get that crazy piece of filter material out of there empties into the top of this area which is my lily pool and this is the lily pool which I've named Frog Estates and the water from that artificial stump comes up and empties into this corner of the lily pool it flows through this lily pool at the rate of 540 gallons an hour at the opposite end of this pool we'll see the additional filters so the water flows through here to this area and here are some unfinished covers that I have for the filters and labeled it filter and here are three metallic mats that fit into slots in this filter box and this filters mechanically and biologically the water coming out of the and all you do to clean them is pull them out take them over and rinse them off there are three different coarseness you know, filter here and then there's a cover here that keeps stuff from going into the outlet of the lily pool and here's the outlet after it passes through the metallic filters it flows into this inch and a half outlet from there it flows out through this little stream and into the area surrounding that artificial stump and what we have in there are various water plants that help to remove further the nitrates from the water that water then from this settling area and veggie filter goes out through a hole down here back into the pond and I'll try to show it from the top here and here's the water returning to the pond and I hope that explains how my filter system works now we gotta get Tia to do one about her pond <laughs>